It's been 108 days since the midterm elections, and all but one race is still decided. North Carolina's 9th Congressional District. The state's elections board ordered a new election there after an investigation uncovered possible ballot fraud. Republican candidate Mark Harris led Democrat Dan McCready by 905 votes in that race. Harris says he was surprised by the allegations that his campaign used a Bladen County political operative who collected ballots by the bundle and turned them in when he wanted. Harris's son testified Wednesday that he'd warned his father about Leslie McCray Dallas's operation since mid-2016. After days of testimony in Raleigh, a new election will now be held to determine the winner. We were all as surprised, uh, so surprised to see the state board in an unprecedented 9-0 bipartisan decision decline to certify this race because of the fraud conducted on behalf of Mark Harris's campaign. And Dan McCready announcing earlier today that he'll, he will be running again for that District 9 seat. Courtney Allen joins us in the studio with more on that race. And there's another empty seat on Capitol Hill as well. Yeah, absolutely. Ken Shayla McCready making that announcement just a few hours ago. This comes as Nine on Your Side speaks with both Democrats and Republicans in the East about this issue and implications for future elections. The Republican Party has taken a real beating on this because they are always carping about voter fraud and the way this election was done was outrageous. People on both sides of the aisle are weighing in on the race for Congressional District 9. It sends a message of distrust, but I think this has been going on for years on the Democrat side of the fence. This comes after Republican Mark Harris gives up his fight for the District 9 seat following fraud accusations. Through the testimony I've listened to over the past three days, I believe a new election should be called. Nine on your side, speaking with Lenore County GOP Chairman John Nix, who knows Harris personally. I know it was very difficult for he and his family. This whole thing has been taxing on his family. I don't think he really knew anything about it. I would be very surprised if he did. We are also hearing from Pitt County Democratic Party Chairman Charles McLawhorn. The responsibility lies with Mr. Harris. The buck stops with him. It's a terrible situation, and it's... Uh, it's a complete subversion of a system that we hold so dear. This congressional vacancy comes as people in the East will be casting their votes for Congressional District 3, left behind by Congressman Walter B. Jones, Jr. ECU political science professor Brad Lockerbie. I think it's going to be greater scrutiny on somebody going by and collecting ballots and turning in dozens of ballots at a time. It's going to have to be something that local registrars pay attention to or should pay attention to. Both McLawhorn and Nick say it would be ideal for Governor Roy Cooper to call both elections at the same time and sooner rather than later. We're going to have an extra election in this cycle that wears on the public and also spends extra tax dollars. One of the things that always concerns me is whether the public will get tired of politics because it goes on for so long. It has to be done in order to put a, a, a proper representative in an office for both third and ninth district. Don't disengage just because there's a little extra going on. Get involved more. McLawhorn says whoever is elected for these terms will be in for a short, short time before primaries start for 2020, which he says may give whoever is elected an advantage. While District 3 and 9 are not currently represented in Congress, there are still constituent services available in those districts. Courtney Allen, 9 on your side. Courtney, thank you. Earlier today, President Trump spoke on the decision to call for a new election for the 9th Congressional District, saying in part, quote, I condemn any voter fraud of any kind, whether it's Democrat or Republican.